we feel that this um, judgment is is wrong the applicant did not prove uh, their case and there is no basis for the court to have found as it did and we are in the process of appealing but whilst we are in the process of appealing we also um, would like to appreciate Zimbabweans and people from many walks of life for the support they've given us, for the overwhelming support they've given us. Uh, this is about the right of the people of Zimbabwe to vote for a candidate of their choice. And that right has been compromised. And the court has gone further than uh, just compromising or, or, or disenfranchising President Kasukwere uh, from exercising his right to participate in these elections as a presidential candidate. It has disenfranchised a lot of Zimbabwe. It has far-reaching consequences in that if you have not been residing in your constituency um, for a period of 18 months, as was as was ruled, then you are deemed uh, to, to have been removed from the voters' role. What this means is that if you have been working even in Harare, in Yesha, a registered as a voter in Bulawayo, you cannot then go back to Bulawayo and vote because you are going to be said to have been outside of your constituents for a period of 18 months. That is regrettable and that is a wrong interpretation of the law, which we hope that an upper court will, uh, will, 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 will reverse. The application itself has been filed. Um, however, I think uh, tomorrow is when we'll be having the official position um, from the courts. All right. Uh, what's your argument towards that? We have uh, gone um, into the depth of the judgment itself to attack it uh, to its very roots because we feel that it has no foundation, either factually or at law, and that a proper a court of appeal will turn it aside. This is the very gist of our appeal that before the court there was no evidence to prove that President Xavier Kasugwere has been outside of this country for a period which is longer than 18 months or that he has been residing outside of his constituency for a period which is over 18 months. That was not proven and as such there was no basis to declare that the nomination of our President Xavier Kasugwere is now in void. There was absolutely no basis at law or factually that was placed before the court and we are outraged by this judgment. We met all the requirements, we met all the requirements at law as provided for by the Constitution and by the Electoral Act and what baffles us is that whereas the applicant had a plethora of remedies afforded to him by the Electoral Act has chosen this route and that the High Court itself has allowed itself to be abused by upholding such an untenable position. We are going to be forging ahead battling for President Xavier Kasukwere to appear on the ballot come 23, 23rd of August 2023 and we know that this is a political gimmick. Whilst it may seem like it is the law taking its course. This is a political gimmick which shows that uh, Mr. Emerson Mnangagwa is feels threatened by the presence of President Xavier Kasukere on that ballot. He will have him removed from that ballot at any cost, including issuing dubious judgments which cannot be sustained at law. Uh, as soon as he announced that he is going to be running for elections, uh, we have seen a lot of legal threats being issued against him and one of uh, them is the one which emanated in the judgment today. We have seen that they were threatening to arrest him uh, even though they knew that uh, there was no basis for him to be arrested. So you can see from the reaction that uh, the regime is panicking, that the the government of Emerson Mnangakwa is panicking and they are there to abuse the state apparatus in order for them to disenfranchise President Xavier Kasukwere and in order for them to um, deprive Zimbabweans the right for them to vote for the candidate of their choice. Yes, indeed, he is a registered voter. His name appears in the voters' row. There is a procedure where one would want to seek to have a voter um, removed from the voters' row. That procedure was not followed. Uh, the applicant chose a, a, a strange route that they adopted and it uh, is amazing or it is confounding that a, a, a court of the stature of the High Court can make such a ruling disregarding all the provisions of the law uh, in order to deprive President Kasukwere of his right to stand as a presidential candidate. Zimbabweans, we are not giving up. We are fighting this battle. We know that the system is compromised. We know that they will be using state apparatus to disenfranchise you, Zimbabweans, and depriving you of a right to vote for the candidate of your choice. But we are not going down. We are fighting and we are confident that at the end of the day, justice should prevail and that um, President Kasukwere should be allowed to participate as a presidential candidate.
if um, Mr. Emerson Mnangagwa was confident of his win, then there would be no need for disenfranchising another candidate.